the cannonball stems from a guy named Cannonball Baker who had this mythical journey from the East Coast to the West Coast of the United States. And um, we've got to remember how early it was. Teens, 20s, America was gravel roads, dirt roads. They were way smoother, I think, than people imagine. But uh, these motorcycles took uh, not just a rider, not just a push button and you know take it to the shop every thousand miles or whatever it is. You had to be a rider mechanic and you had to be in tune to the oil and all kinds of different things as you went across. Um, breakdowns were inevitable and routine maintenance and so to go from coast to coast on a motorcycle and forge your way was a new form of mechanical pioneer and um, so this guy Cannonball Baker was remembered, hence the name, you know, the, the motorcycle Cannonball. There was a friend of mine, Lonnie Isom Jr., who grew up in circumstances very similar to mine. His father was prominent in the motorcycle community, and so motorcycles and cars and that kind of a thing weren't novel. They weren't an accessory to a lifestyle. They were just um, what was there. And, and so I think that the motorcycle itself, I take for granted, I love it and everything, but it's not that special to me. Um, there's certain things that I love about motorcycles and they're so esoteric and off the grid that the things that I love really don't blow anyone else's skirt up. Um, this particular run is the third one. Lonnie put this together, I think about six years ago. And from the beginning, he wanted me to contribute. And so I, I made three separate sculptures for three separate events. Um, I think the cannonball is kind of backwards. Uh, the first time we did it, we did it very early, uh, 1915 and earlier. So you had first generation motorcycles going across. It was difficult. I mean, my, my magneto broke down nine separate times. Uh, the exception was me having a full day of riding. Uh, the rule was me breaking down often. And, um, but once that was accomplished, by the time we got into the second generation bikes into the mid 20s and now this third generation into the 30s, it had already been proved that, that early motorcycles with certain finesse could be brought from coast to coast. We're cheating, we're on big brand new paved roads with nice synthetic oils, with chase vehicles, with uh, mechanics supporting us that know more than we do. Uh, when Cannonball Baker did it, he just went on dusty roads and, and you know, we'll do this thing in two weeks. He took longer, but you know, he might have had to camp for a couple days just to rebuild the entire motor.